Hi, I'm Lee Decker, co-founder and head of marketing at Wavefish. Wavefish is an app that we created here at LA Hacks Weekend at the beautiful Poly Pavilion in UCLA in beautiful Los Angeles, California. Um, in a nutshell, Wavefish is a music supervisor in your pocket. Oftentimes, um, when a director of a production is looking for music to put in their project, um, they'll tell the music supervisor, hey, we need a song that sounds like Cashmere by Led Zeppelin, or we need a song that sounds like Keisha, or give us Justin Bieber. And the music supervisor has to say, look, we can't afford the rights to that song. So the music supervisor will have to go look through mountains of CDs, hours of listening, days, weeks, um, look through long, convoluted, hard, you know, difficult interface libraries online that just you know, don't make any sense or um, cluttered hard drives. And we've essentially created an app that uses Grace Notes API. So uh, the music supervisor will take that clip of that popular song, record it, hit submit, and Grace Note will find the information and metadata about that song and will cross-reference it with a, um, an indie music production library of all these songs that are literally produced every day just to sound like popular music. So it's going to make this process easier. It'll take 10 minutes where it usually would take days. Okay, the way we're going to disrupt this industry is by price discrimination and lowering the price point on these songs and making licensing available to anybody. We're talking independent movie makers, people that want to go out and make their own video game. It, it, it's all of a sudden going to be affordable for many, many people on a wider scale, whereas some people didn't even know that this kind of things existed. Anyhow, uh, we hope you enjoy it and... Uh, Hello, this is Brian Lopez, one of the hackers on Wayfish, and we've been working on this app for the full weekend of LA Hacks, and we recently came out with a bunch of bugs today in the morning, so we weren't able to fully finish the product, but we did the next best thing, and we made a prototype so people can see what the end product will look like. With additional time, we'll be able to fix the minor bugs we have. We are about 95% complete but there's just this small issue that is getting in our way. So with some time, we'll be able to get the final product out there and to people.